In this tutorial we'll show you how to link Cinex Player to Dropbox. We're going to start Cinex Player. The first step is you need to create a new folder. So we'll create a new folder. I'll just call them mine my drop box and done. So that's an empty folder. So next part is that we need to select the Dropbox uh, button and now it's asking is it okay that I link Cinex Player to access my files and it's telling you where the location will be when it's successfully linked. So we press the link. It's asking now um, whether you're allowing Cinex Player to access your Dropbox. This is now in the Dropbox site so either we can change at the moment it knows I'm logged in or we can actually change that to your username or somebody else's username and once you've got that logged in with your username and password on the Dropbox we're on the Dropbox uh, website at the moment we just say allow once Dropbox authorizes Cinex Player what you'll see is the Dropbox folder will appear now we've linked our Dropbox to Cinex Player and in my Dropbox I have one single movie so I can't actually play it directly so what I need to do is I have to copy it to my iPad and use this to instead of using iTunes or some other Wi-Fi transfer route I press the copy button it's asking me which folder shall I put it in I've only got uncatalogued as one folder so click this and now Cinex Player will try try to copy this across from the Dropbox folder and you see it here increasing and you can queue them uh, multiple uh, movies or files across there we go we've got a confirmation that it's finished downloading I can just start the movie you've been there there we go you're about to buy lunch and realize your wallet and now this movie that we just copied from Dropbox is local on your iPad, so it means if you're traveling where there's no internet connection, you still have access to these movies.